Connect Modding just released the most realistic mod that they've ever done. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and I would say welcome to new mods for Farm Sim 19. However, I think since today we've only got one mod, I think we're just going to do this as a mod showcase. So this is the Bandurante Rassler V11. This is an absolutely exquisite piece of machinery. Normally when subsoilers release, we just kind of overlook them. I'll be honest with you, uh, I do as well. So this this is much, much different. Yes, it is a subsolar at the end of the day, but the detail is just ridiculous. You could see all kinds of stuff on here, all the way down to the very small parts on here. Connect Modding have done everything that they can to make this their most realistic and most detailed mod to date. So let's jump into the store and let's check it out. This can be found in tools and in plows, and here it is, the Rassler v11 is gonna cost you fifty thousand fifty dollars has a 440 horsepower requirement you're definitely gonna want 440 horsepower six meter working width at six miles an hour for those of you on consoles you're gonna need to know that this is going to take 10 slots so heads up there 10 slots is going to get you this. They also recommend a New Holland T9 series or higher. We've gone with a Big Bud today, the Big Bud Mini. Uh, I think that's the 450. So it's got 500 horsepower. Should be plenty for us today. No customization on this. Do keep that in mind. There is no customization at all, but I don't think you need any. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. One of the really cool things about this as well is not only is it completely animated and everything but you've got all these parts that move around i can't even stay on top of it but you've got all these parts that move around independently which is not very easy to do another great thing about this piece of equipment if we go in we can create fields with it let's turn off the tractor for a second i want to show you guys something if we come around to the back you might be able to see under here we've got this v shape right you got this v shape in the front might be able to see it a little bit better from the top. There you go. So you can see the V-shape we've got going on right there. That is the plow. That is a plow on here. And then around the back, we've got our roller. So that is going to do the rolling. Now, this does say the equipment plows and subsoils the terrain. Um, however, the back, well, this is your cultivator. So let's jump in and see it working. Normally with pieces of equipment like this, they do one thing, right? Go and hire a worker, let them rock and roll. There we go. Normally, you only get one thing happening. But if we can jump out of here, let that guy go do his thing, you might be able to see in there, if we can turn the light on, we've actually got a plow state happening right through there where you can see where the hand is. That is a plow state, and it's not cultivating until it gets to the back. If I stop this real quick, and just back up and hop out again. You can see right here, we have our plow state and then cultivating happens right behind it. And we do have that V shape happening as well. If you guys remember Farm Sim 17, we had a couple plows, I think, that did a V shape plow. I think this is cool, I like it. You know, it is what it is, but it is really neat to see that. Again, you don't see this very often in pieces of equipment. Normally it's just subsoiler or does this or does that this hey plows and cultivates and again it is an absolutely beautiful piece of equipment from bandurante and connect modding another thing you guys can see here is all of the little bits working together everything moves independently everything's got its own little way of doing things so you're not gonna have just this straight line just working this took connect modding a long time to make and for good reason everything works on here and my question will be can we make it go a little bit faster and uh can we see the exaggerated working a little bit more yes yes indeed we can but even with these full speed on here i mean this this poor thing's having a hard time it can do it up to i think it's 19 miles an hour but still with 500 horsepower this is taking a yeah <laughs> it's having a hard time uh, I don't believe you're going to be able to fast farm with this because you can't fold it or anything like that. Uh, if we come around back here, let's go ahead and lower this down. 
Let's see. Let's turn off our super speed. So we're going six miles an hour. Get a little double tap. Nah. So we're not going to be able to fast farm with this. Just a heads up there. Uh, you can do the real speed limit mod on PC, but no super fast farming if you guys are on consoles, which is a bit unfortunate. Kind of stinks. All right. Let's come over here and let's create some fields because this is one of the great things as well. Normally, when you guys are creating fields, you go in and plow, uh, plow up a field, but it still needs all this work done, right? Well, not so much with this. Let's go in and we are going to turn on a couple things. So we are going to turn on lime required, which not going to really matter. Periodic plowing, all that stuff. I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and drop this down and go forward. So nothing's happening because at the end of the day, this is a plow and a cultivator, but we haven't allowed it to do anything yet. Allow create fields. Now we've got everything going on. We are creating. So that, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. I like that a whole lot. Limited fields, bring it up. Ba-boom, baby. Yeah! You guys have been seeing it on PC, but I've loaded up the Xbox real quick just to take a look at it. And again, you can see absolutely wonderful detail. Beautiful, beautiful machine right here. I mean, as far as subsoilers, plows, cultivators, whatever you want to call them, uh, for ones like this, doesn't get any better than this. And just to show you guys as well, yes, if you look at the top left-hand corner, you can also create fields if you guys are on consoles as well. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Connect modding. I don't know how you did it, but but i love it well there you go guys that is going to be it for today's new mod video showcase of the bandrani rasser v11 from connect modding hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the goham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel let me know what you guys like or maybe if there's anything that you don't like about this mod connect modding are always trying to push the limits of what they can do and would love to hear from you guys so Check out a couple links. I'll leave some links below to connect mining on Facebook, uh, as well as a few other places as well. So you think you can check them out. But all that being said, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.